Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. The coronavirus is spreading in every country. Many civilized nations have accepted this inevitable fate and are actively trying to contain it. But on the other hand, the useless Indian government are using this as an excuse to play the blame game. And when they can't blame everything on Pakistan, Yep, you've guessed it. It's the Muslim. Uh, might I add, it's the same government that was promoting cow urine as a cure. But another BJP MLA in Guwahati, Suman Haripriya, claimed that cow urine and dung can cure the virus. <laughs> and talking the virus into leaving. Oh my god! <laughs> and their followers are stupid enough to fall for the same trick every time. Go back, go back, Chinese virus, go back, go back, go back, Chinese virus, go back. In this particular scenario, they're blaming missionary Muslims who just happen to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Because of the singular determination of the Tablighi Jamaat to spread the coronavirus in my country, one group has put all of India at risk. These are Dangerous people, these lockdown cheats, they have compromised us all. What are you talking about? We were just winning when they did everything to defeat us. Oh my God. <laughs> well, that is something and a half. And to be just, they weren't the only ones. Uh, Ram Navmi a celebration and it was celebrated at Shirdi without any social distancing. These villagers were taking part in a religious procession and when the police tried to stop them, they pelted stones at the police. They pelted stones at the police. They pelted stones at the police. Hindu and Sikh events were also taking place during the lockdown. But mentioning that would be the right thing to do. And obviously, the BJP is not necessarily known for that now are they? But I know what you guys are thinking. Who cares who started it? Shouldn't the priority be to contain the virus? I mean why dissect and divide the population as if to say certain people are better than other people? Muslims do not deserve equal rights to apply for citizenship. There's no such as equal rights, they're not in an equal category. It's ironic how they're bashing Muslims for coming too close, but here on camera, these guys are guilty of doing exactly the same thing. Even the incompetent Sky News is doing that. <laughs> Listen to this guy emphasize the word Islamic as if he's placing an order to someone who can't speak English. Islamic congregation alone. This Islamic congregation. And then he pauses for effect as if leaving the words to marinate in some sort of masala or something. This Islamic congregation. Should the news be using cheesy slogans when reporting serious stories? Coronavirus super spreader. I mean what's gonna be the headline when a murder takes place? The mega murderer murders the president. They have broken every law of this country. Because they happen to be amongst the people who spread the virus, <laughs> suddenly, they, <laughs> suddenly they qualify for breaking every law. They have been spreading hate against the lockdown. Hate against the lockdown. You may, you don't know Tablighis yet. Yeah? Tablighis are like the most passive bunch of people out there. Just thinking about it now, I realize I'm raising my voice. So I, I'm sorry. They're criticized for not getting involved in politics, for not getting involved in controversial matters. All they do is just stick to basic issues. That being said, I do have a question for you guys. Do you think India cared about the sect when they had stuff like Corona Jihad trending and Nizamuddin idiots trending? Of course not. As Muslims, we should be standing up for anyone being discriminated, be it non-Muslim, a Muslim that you share common beliefs with or even a Muslim that you don't share common beliefs with. Oh, saying now, was having a good time with the brothers and the last one. Yeah, what sect were they? Really I, I don't know. You need to find out then bro. 
I mean, you've got to be looking at the bigger picture. And if you decide not to stand up for somebody just because they believe in something slightly different to you, mate, you are a messed up individual that just doesn't have the bigger picture in your mind. Uh, Alhamdulillah, they gave me food, water, dates, uh, material like, you know, books. What sect are those authors? I don't know. Why don't you find out? <laughs> I do hope the situation in India becomes better because boy, India is definitely burning. Yeah, it is just going through a mad period at this time, especially for the Muslims. Do remember them in your prayers to show them your support. And inshallah, I'll leave it there guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.